Animation is important in engineering design. Prior to version 2.6 of OpenFast wind turbine system design application, it was possible to actually visualize the animation of a design wind turbine system as you can see on the screen. Hi there and welcome to Cadment of Resources. This is Viuru. This is part of the video series on the usage of OpenFast, an open source application for the design of wind turbine systems. Today we'll be looking at visualization of wind turbine designs. Basically, we are going to be looking at visualizing the system, typical visualization troubleshooting. We'll talk about some functionalities which have been removed from the current versions of OpenFast, as well as we'll look at some structural parts of the wind turbine system. As established before, the input files to be edited are the .fst files and the data files. So you can see here visualization segment of the .fst file which needs to be updated in order to carry out the visualization. Once you open some glue code, let's say for land-based wind turbine system .fst file and in the visualization segment, you need to select some certain values. For WRVTK, you need to select two and then VTK type is one which is talking about surfaces as well as the kind of information you want which is animation. Then the frame rate per second could be selected as any value depending on how much time you have as well as the space. So when you run this you are able to generate some VTK files which is .vtp and these files can then be viewed in ParaView. In order to download and install ParaView, you need to navigate to this website. From this website, you'll be able to get the whole application, which is through, it's through this application, you are able to visualize the files which have been generated by OpenFast to see the animation of the wind turbine system. You need to navigate to the VTK files. And then in the VTK folder, you need to select just the surface files because you require the surface to view the animation. So once you've selected the surface files, you open it and then you click on apply and there you have the wind turbine system in 3D format. If you click on play, you then see how the wind turbine blade rotates. So it depends on various factors. So in order to save this animation, you need to go to save animation and save it as an MP4. For troubleshooting of animation, you can see here in this video, the wind turbine system rotating. But those blades do not look like the regular airfoils because here you have rectangular sections which have been twisted. This has to do with the aerodyne file which is a data file for the aerodynamics and the geometry. Also when you have to do with the seabed as well as the wave surface of an offshore structure, how are you able to dictate those parameters because in the initial slide when we are looking at doing animation based on the visualization segment of the .fsd file, do not have any details for offshore properties. So you can see here in this video, we have Aerodyne 15 on the left included in the files in the glue codes and on the right you do not have Aerodyne 15 or you do not have an Aerodyne data file. If you generate animation for the glue code on the right, you are going to get a rectangular cross section for the wind turbine blades or like the left which is going to give you the exact profile as expected based on the airfoil geometry. So that's one way to troubleshoot when using OpenFast animation. So let's say you want to do animation for an offshore wind turbine system. After updating the .fsd file and you run it, you will see some errors come up. Rather than having your VTK files or your .vtp files, you have a lot of errors. And in the command file, you will see it talks about linearization as well as wave mode. And you need to correct it in order for the animation to work correctly. So you see here we are changing linearization to false under the .fsd file. Then we go over to the hydrodyne file which talks about hydrodynamic information. We change wave mode to 1. So you can see that for still water you have 0. For regular periodic waves you have 1 and some other criteria. For animation you use the regular periodic waves which is 1. So when you run it you see that now the VTK folder has been created and the files have been generated. So once again, open up the VTK folder and you select the surface files in order to visualize. So we are expecting to see wave surfaces. But once you select the surface, what you actually see is still water surface, 
which is actually an error. We are expecting to see waves rather than just a still water surface. It will be more obvious when we put elevation for the sea water level. So you see here we are changing the z direction to be plus over minus the value of the wave height. For example, the wave height is about 1.2. So if you divide it, you have about 0.6 above the mean level and 0.6 below the mean level. So when you look at this legend, you realize that this water wave surface is actually a still water. So there is no variation in the height of the water wave. But if you look at the video, which I've linked based on Neva Archipelago, you can see here how the wave is flowing based on the different heights in this wind turbine system. This has been how it was done in previous versions. So you see here that the supporting structure which is supposed to be above water is not visible in this picture as well as some other information. In previous versions of OpenFast, such as prior to version 2.6, you can see this yellow support structure which is above water supporting the wind turbine system. This was how you could actually visualize an animation in the past. But because of the increase of the OpenFast application, there are some functionalities which have been dropped due to the expensive nature of the data. Supports such as columns, power caps, or frame structure are no longer visible. So for substructures for offshore wind turbine systems, you may have a monopile, an OC3 spa, an OC4 jacket, an OC4 semi, tension leg platform, which can be shown in this picture here. These are some examples of what the support structures below can look like, but it's not available in animation while using OpenFast the present version of OpenFast which is about 3.2 or 3.3. So thank you for watching this video. This is Catchment of Resources, where we create for better living.